Jesus, that's why we are here this morning. Because we know there is nothing possible unto you, Lord Jesus. Nothing is impossible. We thank you for this morning. Waking us up safely. Many people went to bed last night and they could not wake up. Here we are again. That day, that's why we are seeking you early in the morning because we know there is no possibility before you, Lord. We come against every harassment in our dream, every arrow fire to us. We command the arrow to go back to Saddam. Whatever God has not planted in us, the enemy has planted in us, but we are escaping. Let them be uprooted and go back to Saddam. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we are stand upon your word that we are rolling. Whether the enemy exists or not, we will testify. Whether they exist or not, we will share our testimony. You will carry your baby in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare from this day forward that you'll be fruitful. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will encounter God this morning and your life will not remain the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ, every divine agenda calendar for your life shall manifest for you this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every standing calendar over your life will expire now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Whatever has been delayed your testimony has come to an end this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has been delayed your evidence of serving God is yet but destroyed this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible declared in Jeremiah 1 verse 12, Then said the Lord unto me, That's when sin, and we esteem my ways to perform it. Everything that God has spoken concerning you, He will haste His word over your life to perform it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, you will cut out God and your destiny will be recovered in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever your blessings have been eaten, wherever they have been buried, wherever they have been tired from the four corners of this world, this week I declare and I command it to be permitted out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see your riches, your health, your finance, your marriage, your children, your breakthrough, your promotion, your lifting, your increase, whatever the enemy has swallowed up, they have vomited them back into your heart this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall put a new song of praise in your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say, will put a new song of praise in your mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall not be put to shame from his fault in the name of Jesus Christ. All doors that should be open for you since the beginning of this year, and you are still waiting for them. This morning, the power of God is coming on you for divine release. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord who has brought you this far will bring you into your breakthrough. He will bring you to your miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that yoke of struggle in your life 
is broadcast money. That yoke of delay your life is broadcast money. That yoke of going around in circle, that yoke is broadcast money in the mighty name of Jesus. That yoke of near success syndrome is broadcast this money. That yoke of delay in your life is broadcast this money. And that yoke of sickness, whatever yoke you have been laboring on, they are broken, they are broken, they are broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And declare this week, your testimony shall be loud. I say this week, your testimony shall be loud. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what God will do for you this week, we announce you. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your greatness. I say greatness is your portion. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. You are ruling in the midst of your enemy. I say you will rule in the whether they exist or not, you will testify. You will carry your baby. You will share in your testimony. Whether the enemy exists or not. That's why I said they are anointing to rule in the midst of your enemy. You see that anointing this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They are anointing to rule in the midst of that sickness, in the midst of that challenge, in the midst of what you are going through. They are anointing to rule. It's coming upon you this morning. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Second Samuel 22, verse 38 to 46 says, Second Samuel 22, verse 38 says, I have pursued my enemy and destroyed them. As I have pursued my enemy and destroy them and turn not against what they are, uh, they are consumed. And I have consumed them and wounded them that they could not arise here. They are falling under my feet. For that as God may guided me with a straight to a battle battle, them that rose up against me as thou subdued other men. Thou hast also given me the neck of my enemy, that I might destroy them that ate me. They looked, but they were not to save. Even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then I did abit them as small as the dust of the earth, and they stabbed them as the mare of the street, and they spread them abroad, that also as Deliver me from the strife of my people. Thou hast kept me to be the head of the Eden. A people which I knew not shall serve me. Strangers that submit themselves unto me as soon as the year they shall obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away that they shall be afraid out of their close place. There is an anointing that makes a man to roll in the midst of his enemy. And this morning, I come to release that anointing upon you this morning. I say it's coming on you in the name of Jesus Christ. They are anointed to rule in the midst of your enemy. I say it's coming into you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Because God wants you to rule in the midst of your enemy. He wants you to be victorious in life. It is the anointing that is that nurses a man, the anointing. It is what gives him victory. It is what gives him breakthrough. It is what gives you success. It is what puts its enemy under your feet. Let the anointing coming on you this morning. Wherever you are watching me all over the world, let the anointing is coming upon you. The anointing to rule in the midst of your enemy. In the name of Jesus is coming on you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. David said in Second Samuel 22, verse 45, He says, Stranger shall submit themselves unto me as soon as the year they shall be obedient unto me. What makes stranger to submit to you? What makes special to submit to you? What makes challenge to bow? What makes enemy to surrender? It is the anointing. The anointing. When the anointing comes upon you, you will be you, you 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 will begin to roll in the midst of your enemy. This morning, someone that is watching me right now, the anointing is coming upon you. The anointing to roll in the midst of your enemy shall come upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are the one that is coming upon, shall Jesus, 
Hallelujah. There are some things we will examine before we go to prayer this morning. One, there are different levels of the anointing. There are different dimensions of level of the anointing. God has different level of the anointing. And if you have never contacted those level of the anointing, then you have not yet started your journey as a believer. There's an anointing to reign. There's an anointing to reign. There's an anointing that is a sad dominion over sickness, over poverty, over every work of the enemy. That anointing is coming upon you this morning, wherever you are watching me from. It's an anointing that put those every power that want to stop you from rising up. Hallelujah. It's coming on you. It's an anointing to rule in the midst of your enemy this morning. That is the anointing coming upon you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 4 verse 20, he said, for the kingdom of God is not in words, but in power. It's not in words, but in power. <laughs> one of my, uh, my, my new, one of my daughter told me about a story about a woman that she knows. I know she's watching me now. And the woman was that she has given up because of the, do the cancer has spread in her body. But what can God not do? When they not come upon you, Whatever represents a cancer, whatever God has not planted in you, has got no choice. It's a stranger. It disappeared. I believe God's word. And God said that day I should pray for this her friend. She was so concerned. He showed that day she was crying. I said, You have to cry. I know God. I know this God. He will intervene. Then we came to church and give her the anointing on you. I said, go and give the woman. I went to engage the woman in prayer. Was the one. This woman could not walk. She was in a wheelchair. To my surprise yesterday, she came to my joy yesterday, the woman. I said, Papa, your God is too much. Of course I know. The God that put me here. <laughs> the God that put me here. There is nothing to me to talk to you. I know it's too much. I don't need anybody to, know, to tell me. I know the God that I serve is too much. If people in VPA we know our God is too much. What kind of testimony have we not seen in VPA? And the man said to me, Daddy, I fear your God. Guess what? It's my say Muslim. He <laughs> said, I fear your God. He said, I believe in that you are anointing. That you give you, that the Lord is give to me, it's, it's working. And he gives to the woman, the woman is working, dropping the bar. When he went there before, for the anointing, the woman was using wheelchair and help her. She has somebody that is attached to her that will walk, that help her open door, that dig her around the place. So when he got there this week, after the anointing, the woman got up from the wheelchair and she's now walking. What can God not do? You're not serving a dead God. You are serving a living God. Yes, the God that opened my mouth and I'm now using the mouth to talk. And after the mouth, that's where everyone is opening up to me. What can God not do to you? I said, you will carry your baby, Pamela. I said, if my God is dead, it's not dead. I said, can you carry your baby? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever you are expecting from God, as many watching me right now, they will be delivered into your heart. In the name of Jesus, your testimony will be loud. In the name of Jesus Christ, the kingdom of God is not in talking. It's not in talking. It is the demonstration of power. The kingdom of God. Every child of God is called to rule in power. And after today, because you are a child of God, you will rule in power. God said in Psalm 110 verse 1, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit at my right hand, until I make the enemy thy full stone. 
Your enemy are supposed to be under your feet. That problem is where you down supposed to be under your feet. That challenge to, supposed to be under your feet. I declare this morning, they, they will be under your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are now under your feet. That challenge, that your issue, that is blue sleepless night, will be under your feet. Whether they exist, after the day you will not know again. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is taking over you. So one is working in this dimension of power right now. If you are a position, Jesus, you are a carrier of power. I said you are a carrier of power. I release that anointing upon you to become a carrier of power. In the name of Jesus, if you are born again, you are supposed to be a carrier of power. That's what the Bible declared. Jesus said in Luke 10, verse 19. He said, Behold, I give unto you power. Power. He said, Behold, I give unto you power. I mean you. I give unto you power to tread on serpent and scorpion and over all the power of the enemy. And not to shall my enemies or you. I give unto you power. So I receive that power. It's upon you now. It will manifest in every area of your life. Power to tread upon serpent, upon scorpion, upon every book of the enemy. Whatever will be unto you now, power to go out them. Receive that power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are a carrier of that power. Say, I'm a carrier of power. Say, I'm a carrier of power. That's what the enemy. They will submit to your God. They are stranger. They must give way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe the word of God. God has given you power to walk into victory. He has given you power to stop the oppression of the enemy in your life. He has given you power to charge to take charge of every situation, every circumstance that is not of God. He has given you power. To command favor and breakthrough into your life. It does come, the Odyssey comes through the anointing. This morning I declare, I've come with an unusual unsure from God this morning to release the, this anointing upon you. That this week you have your better, you shall walk into the demonstration of power. You shall demonstrate God. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you believe it, say I receive that power to demonstrate God is my Father. They are not this intermission of Christianity that make a man to roll in the midst of your enemy. Jesus said in Luke 19, verse 27, he said, but those my enemy which will not that I should reign over them, he said, bring it down and slay them before me. Hallelujah. It is possible to reign in the midst of your enemy. And this morning, you are entering into that realm in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say this morning, they are anointing the power, the authority to operate in this realm. He is coming upon you to rule in the midst of your enemy. He is coming on you this week. Whether the enemy exists, to rule. Say to yourself, and say they are anointed to rule in the midst of my enemy. Hallelujah. It is a divine mandate that God gives to you. It's a mandate. That means it is compulsory as a child of God for you to rule in the midst of your enemy. One of the greatest calling that a believer has is to is, is, is the calling into power. The calling into power. One of the greatest gifts that God has given us is the gift of power. If you are a child of God, you have the, you, you have given power. As if you are a child of God, if you have given if you have given your life to Jesus, then you have been you have a, a mandate to rule in the midst of that challenge. You have the mandate to rule in the midst of your enemy. Once you are a child of God, circumstances obey you. When you rule in the midst of your enemy, sickness obey you because they are strangers. Poverty obey you. They are strangers. <clears throat> God, what I would tell a stranger, it is time for you to leave. You have the power to tell a stranger, it is your ass. And whatever that is a stranger in your life today, they will leave you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Challenge, obey you when you roll in the midst of your enemy. 
condition of being you when you rule in the midst of your enemy for you to walk in victory you must rule in the midst of your enemy whether they gang up or they gather against you doesn't matter look at what i'm rolling in the midst of i'm rolling in the midst of my enemy i'm dominating i'm producing my position in the midst of my enemy and i declare some grace so i'm ready upon you this morning to roll in the midst of your enemy that power is coming on you receive it in the mighty name of jesus christ after it's a cutter i see you walk in the realm of power i've come this morning to release the anointing that make a man to roll in the midst of your enemy upon you I've got to release the power that establish a man above every condition, above every circumstance upon you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Above every challenge is coming on you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I fear Jesus. I fear Jesus. He said in Matthew 17, verse 24. Okay, let me start from 25 or from 24. And when they were come to Capernaum, that they received tribute money, came to Peter and said, Does not your master pay tribute? He said, Yes. And when he was come into the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, What to get that salmon? Or whom do you? The kings of the earth take custom or tribute of their own children or of a stranger. Peter said unto him, Of a stranger. Jesus said unto him, Then are the children free. Notwithstanding, lest we should offend them, go to the sea and cast an hook and take up the fish that first come but that come up. And when thou hast opened it, his mouth, that shall find a piece of money that take and give unto them for me and thee. What can God not do? When they came to embarrass Jesus, just like the enemy is embarrassing you now, that he did not pay his tax, he commanded money <clears throat> to appear in the mouth of a fish. Does fish carry money? No way. That, 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 the situation of obey Jesus because he rolled in the midst of your enemy. I preserved in your last morning. In those ash economies time, in this ash economies time that the poor are complaining, you will roll in the midst of your enemy. I said in this ash economy time, you will roll in the midst, you will roll in finance, you will roll in your business. You will rule in all that causes you. You will rule in the midst of your enemy. I say you will rule in the midst of your enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those are bad economies term. Bad economies term. In every way in the world. But for you to operate in this level. That is above this ash economy. You must rule in the midst of your enemy. For you to succeed where others are cutting losses. You must rule in the midst of your enemy. Job said in Job 22, 29, said, When men are cast down, then thou shall say that it is lifting up for you. When you rule, <coughs> when you rule in the midst of your enemy, when men are cast down, when men are discouraged, when men are failing, when men are in crisis, when men are suffering, you watching me right now, you'll be lifted up. And professor, a release of this anointing that lift a man up upon your life, upon your destiny, receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ mm. <coughs> and declare. So men, men who rule in the midst of their, of their enemy. But is a feed, it's a feed, it's filled with men and women who command situation by the anointing. They were men and women who ruled in the midst of the enemy. They, they, their situation did not defeat them. Rather, they defeated their situation. You will defeat your situation. Men like Elijah, 
Elijah. Now we'll talk about Elijah today. Then we'll go into prayer. Then we'll talk about more. Because you will talk about your own too. James 5 verse 70 said, Elijah was a man subject to, to lack passion, as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by this space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the earth would give rain, and the earth brought forth a fruit. Elijah was a man who rode in the midst of his enemy. He was a man of fire. The first time the Bible mentioned anything about Elijah, he was already demonstrating the power of God. After today, men have been asking you, where is your God? Do we see God in your life? Elijah came out of nowhere and began to command situation and circumstances because he ruled in the midst of his enemy. He carried an anointing that caused Ray to stop for three and a half years. How did he do so? He knew how to pray. He knew how to pray. He knows how to pray. Social are commanded by prayer. Social are changed by prayer. Social and control by prayer. You rule in the midst of your enemy by prayer. Elijah prayed and Ray stopped. Then he prayed again and Ray restored. Ray was restored. If you want to see results, then pray. They pray. If you want to see challenge, challenge, you want to see changes in your life, they pray. But if, if, if you do not pray, then you are making a temporary situation to become permanent in your life. As if you don't know how to pray, you are making a temporary situation to become permanent in your life. You, you, you don't allow the little things that the enemy throw on you to manifest in your life. I preserve upon you this morning. Every plan that God has not planted in your life, every condition that God has not put in your life, every challenge that God has not planted in your life, every crisis that God has not planted in your life, every attack that God has not planted in your life, every affliction that God has not planted in your life, they will inspire this money. They will inspire this money. Who will pray this money? Say every, every. Everything, whatever God has not planted in my life, out of my life, whatever God has not planted in my life, whatever condition that God has not planted in my life, out of my life, whatever challenge that God has not planted, I'll be out of my life. Whatever God has not planted, whatever that attack that God has not planted, be out of my life, be a stranger out of my life. Whatever God has not planted in my life, be a pretend. Go back to say that we are pretend. That attack, we are pretend. Go back to say that that sickness. Be uprooted. Go back to say that whatever God has not planted in my life, be uprooted. Go back to say that. Go back to say that. Go back to say that. I say whatever God has not planted in my destiny, be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. And go back to say that whatever God has not planted in my destiny, I say be uprooted. I mean now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I promise a divine intervention in every area of your life. A divine intervention. Receive God intervention in every area you need. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at the man of Joshua. A man of Joshua. A man of Joshua. Joshua 10 verse 20 to 10. If you're ready to see how the people commanded, how they ruled in the midst of their enemy. Joshua. Joshua was a man who carried an anointing to rule in the midst of his enemy. He commanded the sun to start to, to, to start stay and the moon refused to go down. Hallelujah. I don't know what is standing against you this morning, but by this anointing, they shall start stay. They will start stay in the mighty name of Jesus. That sickness will start stay. Poverty will start stay. Whatever you do, what you learn, they will start stay in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, whatever is standing against your rising, they will go down for your sake. They will go down for your sake. Whatever I have to die for you to see God this morning, they will die for your sake. Whatever I have to go down for you to be lifted up, we go down for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Man like Moses. 
man like Moses. Exodus 14, verse 21 says, And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind. Hallelujah. That night, and made the sea dry, the dry land, and the water was made divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the water gave a war unto them on their right hand and on their left. Okay, Magic. Our water cannot become a war. And you are passing, you are passing. After passing, the enemy was surely they must surely gather. But as they gather, they will scatter your enemy. Whatever they are pretty for, as they gather against you, they will scatter in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When Pharaoh came against the children of Israel, Moses rode in the midst of, the, of his enemy. He stretched forth his hand, and the Red Sea parted, and they crossed over. We are crossing over to your breakthrough. We are crossing over to give birth to your children. We are crossing over to that new house. We are crossing over to testify. I said, you are crossing over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what that as a Red Sea against you. But this morning, as I stretched my heart towards God, you are crossing over in the name of Jesus. I don't know what stand as a race in your marriage. As I stretch my heart towards God, I see you are crossing over in the name of Jesus Christ. You are crossing over. I command upon you an anointing to rule in the midst of your enemy. Receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. As I stretch my heart towards the altar of God, your, your breakthrough, your lifting, your promotion, your marriage, your baby, your project, your healing, they will scatter by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody working against you, they will scatter. They will scatter. But it's already every Pharaoh that will be pursuing you. I command them to be swallowed up in the name of Jesus. I say every Pharaoh that will be pursuing you into this red sea, let them be swallowed up. As you come out, they'll be swallowed up in the name of Jesus Christ. You, as they'll be swallowed up as you come out after that problem, after that challenge. Your enemy will be swallowed up in the name of Jesus Christ. They are not to cross. It's coming upon you this morning. They are not to cross to the other side. It's coming on you. They are not to cross from barrenness to fruitfulness. They are not to cross from poverty to riches. They are not to cross from where you are today to where God wants to be. It's coming upon you. The anointing that put me here. You can imagine. The anointing is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. The anointing that lifted me from nothing to something is coming on you in the name of Jesus. The anointing that took me from nobody to somebody. I said, the anointing is coming on you. The anointing that made me fruitful in every area of my life is coming on you. From this day forward, you'll be fruitful in every area of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, Stranger shall be submitted to you. That's your issue. They shall submit to your God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What can God not do? I say you will rule in the midst of your enemy. I presume I release the anointing to rule in the midst of your enemy upon you right now. For today, wherever you wherever you step into, the rest will part for you. I say wherever you step into, that rest will part for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Doors will be opened up for you in the name of Jesus Christ. May we favor you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If it is only one seat that remain, then they will give it to you in the name of Jesus. If it is only one vacant that remain, it, it is yours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is yours. It is yours. That breakthrough, it is yours. Connect it right now. As many that will go out today to go out look for a job and declare if it is only one vacancy, if it is only one seat, it belongs to you. Receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is your turn to testify. It is your turn to people, people have to see the God you serve in the name of Jesus Christ. I say, if it's only one seat, there's the many, they will give it to you. If it is only one breakthrough remaining, they will collect it in the mighty name of Jesus. If it's only one position available, it is yours. Say, I receive it. But this anointing, what you did not labor shall come to you. I say, what you did not labor for shall come to you. It is real what I'm saying. Did I labor for this? Did I labor for where I am today? Be the spirit. 
Is that labor for it? It is God that put me here. I don't know how I got here. That would be to you watching me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, this man of prayer, as you rest, as you watching me right now, the anointing for common word is coming on you. The anointing for common word is coming on you. The God who has blessed me in all things, may that God bless you in all things. In the name of Jesus Christ, by this anointing, every you call poverty, your life is broken. Is broken. The anointing of poverty, your life is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say, by this anointing, every poverty, your life is broken. That sickness is destroying your life. Whatever is meant to destroy you has been destroyed. Whatever is meant to kill you is killed. Whatever is meant to, to rule over you is is full over. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Every evil, every evil is true of poverty in your family. It's castle now. I say every evil is true of poverty. It's here by castle from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you are connected today. Wait to the gate of God of wait has come. I say wait has come to your family. You will be calling Joseph to bring kingdom wait into your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say a professor as you as you keep it to the anointing, receive the anointing for divine protection. In the name of Jesus, the anointing for divine protection is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus, it does not matter what is happening around you. It does not, it does not matter what you are going through. The anointing for divine protection is coming on you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it does not matter how many get fired in your office. It shall not come near you. It does not matter what is happening to others. It will not come near you. It does not matter how many have been marked for death this year. It shall not come near you. You will live. Your children will live to declare the words of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I preserve upon you as you get the sound of my voice. None of the disease of Egypt shall come upon you. None of this disease of Egypt shall come upon you and your household in the name of Jesus Christ. But this anointing I decree, sickness shall be not, not before you. Sickness shall not be before your children. It shall not be before your loved one. In the name of Jesus Christ, affliction shall not rise a quarter in your life. Never. It will not rise a quarter in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sickness in your body, I command it to expire now. Expire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are healed in your body. You are healed in your mind. You are healed in your spirit. You are healed in your friends. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every issue of blood that has made you to run from pillar to post by this anointing, let the yoke be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command the anointing to rule in the midst of your enemy to come upon you. Let it come on you right now. Receive the anointing to rule in the midst of your enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you receive it now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I profess to someone who the sound of my voice, that opposition will not stop you. That challenge will not stop you. That condition will not stop you. That situation will not stop you. That sickness will not stop you. That issue that we are passing through will not stop you. No evil shall stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I said they cannot stop you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I prophesy after this encounter, we shall rule in the midst of your enemy. We shall triumph in the midst of your enemy. You will testify in the midst of your enemy and command a fresh fire of the anointing to reign, to come upon you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the power to rule in the midst of your enemy come on you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever is either in the flow of the Holy Spirit in your life, I command to expire, expire right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is in the flow of the spirit of your life, be expired now. Receive a fresh anointing. Receive a fresh anointing. Receive it now. Anointing to rule in the midst of your circumstances, in the midst of your challenge, in the midst of whatever you are going through. Receive that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I don't know who is standing in your way. I don't know who have said that you will not ne will never get married. I don't know who have said that you will never get carry your baby. I don't know whoever they will die, but they will die in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who have said that you will not carry your baby. I don't know who have said that you will never have a good job. I don't know who have said that 
you will not be, be promoted. I don't care to know who said that you will never enjoy a good earth. I don't care to know who said you will die for your town. And I declare that this morning, a professor, they are not to road in the midst of all this is coming upon you. They are ready to road over every work of the enemy. Receive it. Come to say, I give God to you power. That power will not be in vain in your life. That power that Jesus gave to you will not be in vain. It shall manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I said every plan that God has not planted in your life, every condition, every challenge, every crisis, every attack, every affliction that God has not planted in your life, it will expire this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that situation shall be reversed. I think that challenge will be reversed. That issue is reversed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I preserve a divine intervention. In every area of your life, receive right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ, every situation that has been afflicting you, that has been attacking you, that has been harassing you, that has been embarrassing you, that has been intimidating you, I command it to expire right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, as every situation that has been afflicting you, that has been attacking you, that has been harassing you, that has been embarrassing you, that has been intimidating you, I command it to expire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wherever you have been cast down. Receive your lifting right now. As you ever are cast down, receive your lifting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the anointing to rule in the midst of your enemy. Receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And please, all those who have had in your matter, all those who need to send a document for you, all those who need to put the staff of a poor for you, all those who, who have what you need, they shall favor you this week. They shall favor you this week. They shall favor you this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray, pray again. I said to you again, all those who have had in your matter, all those who need to send the document for you, all those who need to, stop, to put the stamp of approval for you, who uh, they will look at you, they will favor you this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Bible says in relation to the verse 8, said, I have said before thee and open doors, I said before thee and open doors that no man can shut. I see you standing before and open doors in the name of Jesus. I see you standing before and open doors that no man can shut in the name of Jesus Christ. You will walk into your open doors this week. You will possess your possession this week. I command, I, I, come, I, I, I came to speak a word into someone under the sound of my voice this morning that you will rule in the midst of your enemy. You will rule in the midst of your enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are ruling in the midst of your enemy. In the name of Jesus, come back up his word this morning. That's why I said in Isaiah 55 verse 11, said, So shall my word that be that goes forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. But it shall accompany that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where unto I set it and declare. Uh, see, every great destiny starts with a word from God. As I present it will allow this new week, this week or more this morning, the word of God in your life shall come to pass. Whatever God has said to you, we come to pass this week. Whatever it is not holding you. Whatever is holding you back this morning, you are loose. And whatever is holding you back is cut off in your life in the name of Jesus Christ and decree be position into your wrathful destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Be position into your break right now in the name of Jesus. Be position into your testimony. Be position into your throne. Receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever sickness disease and affliction has caged you all this time. It is here by destroy. It is here by destroy. And so whatever has caged you all this while, it's here by destroy for your life. That sickness is destroyed. That cancer is destroyed. That issue is destroyed for your life. Property is destroyed for your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the enemy has programmed against you, it is cancelled. Every every program of the enemy in your life is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is cancelled. You will not die before your time. 
you will live to declare the words of your God in the name of Jesus Christ. That which the Lord has said concerning you, no man shall be able to stop you. No woman can stop you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why I said in First Chronicles 16, verse 21, it says, He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he, he reproved king for their sake. See, touch not my anointed and to my prophet no harm. They are noity for breakthrough. It's upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. It's upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, no man shall succeed in their evil plan against you. Because they are not to support you. But this anointing has declared that you are untouchable. Your children, they are untouchable. Your household, they are untouchable. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that has heard your blessing is as they are arrested this morning. They are caged now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written in Lamentation 3, verse 37. Who is he that steered and command to pass when the Lord has not commanded it not? Whatever men have said concerning you, every evil pronouncement that they have said, we will talk back to their sender. In the name of Jesus, every cause the enemy has released against you, that cause. Be protect, go back to the ascender in the name of Jesus. Every evil pronouncement over your life and your destiny is there back castle in the name of Jesus. I command every standing clock tickling against your life to be smashed to pieces right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the program of the enemy over your life will not start, it will not start. You shall succeed and be a success in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you come before the Lord this morning, you shall start. Here in the VPA to testify, hallelujah. Yes, you will testify in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon the authority of the word of God to declare you that in all things you are blessed. In all things, you are blessed. In all things, as as he pronounced blessing upon his son Jacob, I pronounce the blessing of God upon you now this week. I pronounce God blessing upon you this week. This week, blessing will overshadow you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed in your coming in and you are blessed in your going out this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed when you rise up and you are blessed when you sit down in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you lay your heart upon this week, you will prosper. I said you will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. I said again, whatever frustrates your effort, whatever frustrates your effort since January, is here by destroy from your life, is here by destroy from your life. Whatever frustrates your effort, is here by destroy from your life in the name of Jesus. All your effort shall lead to great achievement. In the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, you will not have a reason to share tears of sorrow. You will not share tears of sorrow. This morning I declare, I declare that your every shall be open in the name of Jesus. Good news shall locate you. This week, good news has located you. Good news has located you. As you step out today, I think you will come back with good news. You will come back with good news in the mighty name of Jesus. You are coming back with good news. The angel said to Mary, <laughs> in Luke 1 for fasting, and blessed is she that, that believe, and they shall be a performance of those things which we are told are from the Lord I decree because you believe God and you are up this morning you shall be a performance of what you have been prayed for my God will perform it in the name of Jesus Christ there is nothing about your life that is too hard for God to do the God who brought water out of the rock will bring what you need to fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. The God who gave Sarah a son in an old age will visit you with the fruit of the womb in the mighty name of Jesus. The God who in name of leprosy, that God will heal you of every reproach in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. He will heal you out of that sickness. He will deliver you out of that affliction, out of that sickness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The God who brought money out of the mouth of the fishes we supply your need and give you financial breakthrough in every area you need it. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. This week I declare Hebrew 4 verse now will be your portion. Hebrew 4 verse now will be your portion. I declare rest. This week you will not struggle so much to get God. Hallelujah. Hebrew 4 now says, 
the remaining day for a rest to the people of God. For he that entered into his rest, he also has saved from his own works as God did for his. I declare this new week we have entered. You have entered to your rest. This week, starting from today morning, you have entered into your rest. That peace, receive it right now. And it has come to last hardship. You let that hardship and it has come. That struggle, that labor without result, and it has come. That sickness, and it has come. What one have you sleepless night, and it has come. The enemy will not see your head, you will see the head of your enemy. Witches will not see your head, you will see the head of witches. That problem, that challenge will not see your head, you will see the head of those challenges in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And decree this week we have entered. You are divinely commissioned by the power of God to go forth and come back with great testimony this week. By the blood of Jesus, you are here by commission to go into this new week and succeed mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are blessed and greatly lifted this week. In the name of Jesus, I cover all that concerns you with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, cover all that concerns you with the blood of Jesus. Cover your wet with the blood of Jesus. Cover your children with the blood of Jesus. Cover the way with the one that has not come yet that you are expecting with the blood of Jesus. Cover your new house with the blood of Jesus. Cover all the concerns you with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, it is done. Father, back up your word this morning that there will be testimony be trooping in from now forward. This is your week, your week of laughter, your week to testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. John Emmanuel, your time has come. Scott, it's your week, Esther Lufa, this is your week. Feel me now, Obasege, this is your week. Festina, LJ, this is your week. Lizzie, this is it's your week. It can be a job, this is your week, my daughter. It's a government, this is your week, my daughter. John the man of my son is your week in the name of Jesus S. Talfa. My daughter is your week. Carol D. Everstrong is your week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Has been watching me now this week. You have entered into your rest. That issue that we have given you sleepless last night, this week you have entered into your rest. You will see no more. Adela Simon, enter into your rest in the name of Jesus. A can never need it enter to your rest. So your children enter to your rest. And the father enter to your rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bonnie uh, and the enter to your rest. Galinois enter to your rest. Sharon Barrett enter to your rest. Fee William enter to your rest. Godfrey G enter to your rest. In the name of Jesus. Galinois enter to your rest. Anthony A. Y. Daniel Dennis enter to your rest. God will found enter to your rest in the name of Jesus. This will go enter into your rest. One, I return them, enter to your rest. That issue you see no more, you are resting. Why you see the issue no more? Do the man now enter to your rest? Machelin, Charles, enter to your rest in the name of Jesus. Yed, yed, grace, enter to your rest in the mighty name of Jesus. As many watching me enter into your rest in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to encourage you this morning. Share the message. Please like the message and love the message. Share the message. Share it everywhere. Share to at least share it to at least 30 people. Share it and God will honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every will be open up for you where it is your week. You are rolling in the midst of your enemy. Your time has come. But the mighty God we serve Jennifer K. Yes, you are ruled in the midst of your enemy. In the name of Jesus, we don't give up. Pamela, favor, we are ruled in the midst of your enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are ruled in the midst of Emma Amakam, we are ruled in the midst of your enemy. Yes, Lizzie Oye, we are ruled in the midst of your enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes, you have entered to your rest. You have entered to your rest. You have entered this week, you, have, you will not struggle. 
Fetsus Odige, who are a tattoo arrest, Katibo Isra, a tattoo arrest, no more struggling, no more struggling, no more hardship, no more sickness, no more, no more. You see them no more. In the name of Jesus, the Egyptian you see before, you see them no more. In the mighty name of Jesus, phenomenal Utamasko, I've been rocked to Yahilomo, Utamasko, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please share the message, share it, yeah, comment on it, love it, and God will honor your His works and your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Always know that God loves you. God loves you. I love you. God loves you more. Let us love you. Your time has come. But in God we serve. Hallelujah. Let's pray this to Him by Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
bless you. Josie Bandy bless you. Pamela, I love you too. My daughter, Joko, yeah, your time has come. Yes, I've been watching me. Your time has come. Because just I'll see you again. Same time tomorrow. Make sure you are in that off. Make sure you are in enough, enough tomorrow. Your time has come. Make sure you are there. That guy is another my, my friend, Igwe. And I'll see you next week live. I'll be on next week. I love you. I'm going to love you more.